Me and my nice new computer system. <laughs> well, it's not completely new. new it's mostly the important new. Parts are, uh, well, all the parts new. that were, well, actually the motherboard new. wasn't the oldest, but the chip was the oldest thing you had left, and that's now gone. Yeah. Everything else was noticeably more recent. Including that motherboard, because that there was that one that uh, gave out on us. Yeah. So, my question is, do we want to do the level 15 questing? Or do we want to go to Old Da and take part in Little Ladies Day? Oh, can we do both? We can try and do both. Let's see how the level 15 questing go. There is Little Ladies Whoops. Day next week, if it comes <laughs> down to it. I hit a button to mute for a second because I was going to cough and my camera just went zoo! <laughs> and you did not mute the microphone, trust me. Oh, sorry. I wonder if that got bounced or something. Oh, well. No, I think you hit the wrong button. You did your camera control instead of the uh, mute. But but yeah, let's get going. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to take an airship. I don't feel like walking it. Wait, 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 wait. I was thinking the 15 stuff first. Oh, 15 stuff first? Yeah. Okay. And then try and squeeze in a little ladies' day. Since if we don't make it, it will be here next week. Okay. Back to the drowning winch for me, then. Just as long as you don't become one. Ew! No! No drowning on this uh, dream, okay? <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, that's why I forgot to fix. Uh, give me a second, I want to fix my nameplates. Oh, I thought you, you said you needed to fix your hair. Well, yeah, I always need to fix my hair. Do, 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 do. It, one of the things about really building the computer. <laughs> Sorry. And remind me because I still need to back up mine. Is that it wiped all my settings in game. Yeah, for how the UI is laid out like that. Because that's all stored locally. And it went by with the hard drive. And part of it is that I'm purposely running with nameplates off for player characters for privacy reasons. Who'd have thunk it? Someone who cares about privacy. Where, what's the world coming to? Yeah, I know. That must hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> person faking dead on the steps of uh, the Aetherite. Oh. It doesn't look very comfortable. <sighs> so I hope everyone's week has been wonderful this week. Mm-hmm. I will say my machine is loading so much faster. It's, it's a mm -hmm. beautiful thing. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong boat. I get yeah, distracted. I hope it is the wrong boat. 
You are determined to go to Old Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been one of those days. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why? It's not your fault. <laughs> well, yeah. Though I, like you, was kind of caught flat footed by the idea of, you know, rain in California in March. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, today has been kind Rain of a... Rain at all in California, <laughs> really. Today has been kind of a calamity of errors for me. Um, I couldn't sleep in past 11, which would normally it's be like... It's amazingly early for her. Yeah, the, I usually sleep until 2 in the afternoon. Because I go to bed at stupid early hours in the morning. So I couldn't sleep, so I'm like running on like five hours sleep, if that much. <laughs> I log in, I try working Blue Mage, and Blue Mage in this game, it's one of the newer classes that they put in with uh, the current expansion. <sighs> Blue Mage can be very frustrating. So I frustrated myself good. And then Rindus was all like, hey, let's go to lunch. And I go and put my outdoor glasses on, the ones I have to wear to legally drive, and they broke. <laughs> For about the third time. Yeah, we've been whistling kind of past the graveyard on that. So, <laughs> so we had to walk to lunch. And as soon as we stepped outside the door, the sky just opened up and it started really coming down. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's been one of those days. <laughs> well, old fault. What do we have? On a wing and a prayer. A clear, strong light is on the quay and old foot the sailor is in a mood to yarn. Oi, adventure. My tub sails soon, and I have, uh, and I have to have me a little something for the journey. The dusk bats are flying. Think yourself lightsome enough to bring me five wings? Four won't do, and six is no good, mind ye. Welcome you are to keep any surfeits, so long as you know what to do with them. You'll bring me the wings. Am I getting paid? Yeah. Uh, Am I getting paid? Uh, looks like uh, two hundred and thirty-nine gil. Right then. It's more money than you sure had before. It is. <laughs> hey, with our uh, gill allotment, that's not too shabby. I know, we're used to our main gill allotment, which is like, yeah, over the top. Leaves of Aleport. We're leaving Aleport already? Hush you. <laughs> hmm. Orwin, the Adventurer's Guild representative for local leave quests in Aleport, is seeking an adventurer to undertake guild leaves. You need a work class? The name's Orwin, and I'm a representative of the Adventurer's Guild. Notice the hat? I keep a record of tasks what the locals need doing, and then dole them out to adventurers what look capable. Now, you look capable. But the last sod I reckon was tough enough got his face bit off by bleeding wharf rat. You need to prove to me you can handle me jobs. Take a look at this here task. Does this seem like somewhat you could do? Tail in toe. Mimiroon, oh dear. Really? We're dealing with Mimiroon? We're dealing with Mimiroon. Mimiroon likes sparkly shinies. Memoroon wants to uh, wants to man lands to uh, walks to man lands to trade good goods for shining sparklies, but Memoroon cannot be going home. Memoroon afraid bad bandits will be taking Memoroon sparklies. Is there not a kind adventure to keep Memoroon safe? Memoroon shines shinies to keep Memoroon safe. Safe. <sighs> All right then, you need to beckon your client Memoroon to help lead him to his destination. 
Uh, for those of you who haven't picked up on this, it's an escort quest. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. And FFs are particularly annoying. <laughs> There's worse. There's far yes. worse. Yes, there are. But you have to work at it. And boy, did Blizzard work at it. Oh, yes, they did. Uh, <laughs> that was deliberate. But wow. My cats and dogs. Sc uh, scary build seeks the aid of an able bodied adventurer. You don't look like an adventurer who gets around. Hey, have you noticed the corals and jackals at each other's throats of plate? Mm, since I just walked off the boat? No. No, I hadn't noticed yet. I've never seen anything quite like it, and the bloodshed only worsens by the day. This continues, I dare say that one of these groups will wipe out the other before long. Now, it bears mentioning that this species of coral isn't native to Vilgram. By rights, they shouldn't even be here. Nay, I believe they were smuggled. Pirate port, smuggling, nah, say it isn't so. Who'd have thunk it? I know of a merchant who may have had a hand in these dealings. Her name is Rakontai, uh, and after some probing, I've come to believe she's somehow involved. I would question her myself, but she is like to flee at the first sight of yellow. That's where you come in. I need you to speak with her and learn all you can. Take a look around. She's bound to near be nearby. From the name, we're definitely looking for a uh, uh, Makote. Our tribe. Our content. Really, really do need to do a list of the tribes since nobody's bothered to do it already. What's this? They sent you to do their dirty work? Well, you'll never take me alive. Never! And she runs off. The scared little kitty. Okay, you're uh, kind of running out of dock here. Now, now, don't scare her. Like this? Yeah, you need some better hired muscle there. Don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm smuggling in the corals for the breedings, like he asked, but that's it. I ain't the one sending the jackals into the frenzy, I swear. Eh? The yellow jacket sent you? And not the pirates? Well, Hills, why didn't you say so earlier? <sighs> because you ran off as soon as you saw me. Well, you got me. I'm behind the corals in Aleport. And those good-for-nothing pirates had me breed jackals for them, too. With all the right training, they make for nasty watchdogs and the like. But the pirates wanted more, and that's why they asked me for the corals that they did. I smuggled them in, but the pirates took them before I could finish the job. Suppose they didn't want to wait for the breeding. But the buggers let, but the buggers let them escape. Now they have jackals on the loose, trying to rid the corals and the clean up the mess. I'm the victim as well, you know? I they pay me good coin for the animals, but now they got the folk chasing after me. Wanting to cover their tracks, I'm sure. You hurry up and tell those yellow jackets I ain't to blame, you hear? You yeah, smuggled them an in and you're- right, eh, citizen, who didn't do nothing wrong except, you know, take an illegal contract. <sighs> Somewhat flexible idea of didn't do nothing wrong. Well, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates in pirate land. Oh, there is that. I'm gonna turn it in. Gonna get the other quest first. Fine. Which is up on the wall. 
Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> See, this place is vertical enough. Yeah, it's... Well... At least it's uh, flat uh, vertical. Go and... get some more! <laughs> <sighs> Sinairo? Let's try. Keep your day job. Private Sinairo needs your help in the defense of Aleport. Hark! Enemy in the sky! Pull yourselves together, pirate! Private! You've been trained for this. Even if the only action you've ever seen has been street fights, tavern brawls, and fisticuffs over who cheated at checkers! First things Ooh. first. We must at checkers. I know. Who cheats at checkers? First things first, I must ready the cannons. Now, to walk myself through the steps. Um right. Make certain you are with sucker, for arming a cannon is no swift matter. So far so good. I'll just I'll just get Samel and Samel, that girl, always nowhere to be found when she's needed. Fine. Sarge is always said to improvise. You, no. over there, adventurer. Lumsa Lumenza has need of your services. Slow down the enemy while I arm the cannon. I'll be ready ere the fifth carcass is cold. I promise you. Why do I have a feeling we just agreed to do something horrible? <laughs> Just stay quiet and nod at the crazy lady. It's what I do. Uh, There's the something to be said for that. Now there is another kind of touched on and off air and haven't ever quite decided our answer on. Mm -hmm. Well, I think all our classes are right around 15, aren't they? Uh, 15 to 20. Just I... wondering which classes we sticking with if we go for only two out of the three. Yeah, I know. So this... actually, the other two are in the 20s already. So this is still catching up. Okay, yeah. never mind. I keep thinking they were all stuck at around 15. <laughs> ah, you're back. What can you tell me of her contai's dealings? She claims to be a victim as well. <laughs> it was her greed that brought the curls to Vilvran, and she is sorely mistaken to think the Yellow Jackets will turn a blind eye. Mark my word, she will be held accountable. Any rate, we know uh, now we know We're trying to tear each other to shreds. The pirates have been quite careful not to leave any clues, but we've managed to capture our Conti's assailants. They're being questioned as we speak, and it won't be long before we track down the pirates. Don't worry, friend. The Yellow Jackets will see them brought to justice. In the meantime, there's still a matter of our Conti and the beast running amok in the fields. I shudder to think what may happen should the jackals and curls continue fighting for much longer. I have a plan, but your assistance is essential to its success. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Uh, Are sir, we ready I, to begin? I, I think we're ready to begin. Man's best friend. Skirribald is ready to set his plans into motion. Arkantai has admitted to breeding jackals for pirates, but I fear she may be concealing more to be smuggled elsewhere. I bid you speak with her once more and to prove my suspicions true. She wishes to play the role of victim? Perhaps this time she will be more forthcoming with information. Tell her that although we cannot grant her impunity, her cooperation will ensure a lighter sentencing. Give me just a second. Okay. Curiosity killed the quarrel. Skirbuild requires assistance with an ongoing investigation. Oops. Now then, we need to do something about the quarrels running wild in Vilbrandt. 
jackals have greatly reduced their numbers, that the presence of crows will upset the balance of predation in Aleport. Given time, they will establish a breeding population and perhaps even prey upon more than just animals. A large number of merchants, sailors, and travelers pass through Aleport daily, meaning that a great many people will be at risk unless we stop the corals here and now. As much as it pains me to say this, they must be done away with. I like this no more than you, but we Yellow Jackets must put the safety of the, of the people above all else. Reports indicate that corals were last sighted somewhere in Skull Valley. When you're ready, pray seek them out and do what needs be done. You up for this? Yeah. Ready to leave the safe walls of Aleport? Why, no, no we're not. The Yellow Jackets want to know if I'm hiding more jackals? Uh, fine, I'll come clean if it means preserving me liberty. All the jackals are long gone, but there's a wolf pup that I was looking after not too far from here. Jackals are easy to come by in, in Aleport, but wolves? You can be sure folks will pay good mo money for them. With the yellow jackets breathing down my neck as of late, though, I haven't had time to care for them. Poor thing's probably too weak from hunger to move. I'll tell you where I hid them, but if you want to take them, let's move now. What with the corals running wild, killing the, the pirate jackals and all, it won't be long before they start snooping about for more animals to train. I have to wor warn you, though, he may be a pup, but he's likely to make a meal of anyone who gets too close to him. Try winning over his stomach with this here succulent bone. And if that ain't enough, try rubbing his belly with to soothe him. Ye can bet he'll be following you everywhere. I left the critter in Quarterstone. Hurry before the pirates find him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like straight up is our first one, and that should be the corals. Mm -hmm. Baby coral. Ooh, and hunt targets. Mm -hmm. And I have no AoE! Why do I have no AoE? little baby curl and did you ding you totally yes, dinged. I dinged by all of 107 uh, points mew, mew. Mm. Mew, mew. Uh. the baby coral looks at you affectionately can i keep them we shall see we shall see That's all the hedge moles I needed. You only needed one? I only needed one. I need two. Well, I guess we kill us a second hedge mole. I mean, there's a bat okay. in here somewhere. And a hedge mole came along the side. Here, little baddie. Oh, those are pucks. We need bats first. And the dusk bats are hunt targets as well as quest targets for me. Huh! I'm only getting one symbol until they die, in which case I I lose the quest symbol and I gain the um, hunt symbol. That's three of four. Okay, there goes the hunting log. Where's number five? I guess we're dealing with pucks. Oh, 
Well, I need the pucks too, so. Okay. So you needed the pucks, I needed the bats. Should be our last deck. And totally our last yeah. hedge mole. It'd be nice if it was the last hedge mole. But I have a few. Yeah. I guess we need another puff. Oops. Yeah. and Pussy Boom. Ah, gobbies. Backstab for later times. Okay. Mill is off this way. By the way, did... Oh, we have not attuned to Swift Perch. We should rectify that. Yeah, we haven't really been in this zone yet. Those. have a bone for you. Succulent bone. A delectable canine treat that was not made using a plump lala fowl. Ew! <laughs> hey, Foxfire! Welcome, welcome! Yep, yep, yep. Ah, hello. And now he gurs at me again. Oh. We have to soothe his belly. Oh, he followed me home. <laughs> I keep wanting to reach for my mount button, which doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> Oh, we are not messing with that over there. You sure? Is that a PC? No, no, that is died in six arms tonight. Yep. You wouldn't be doing it alone. And I think he needs the help. I just died in six arms tonight. Yeah. So wonderful.
It is believed most crabs live only two to three years, fewer if nearby women feed are hungry. There is one crab, however, that is rumored to have survived since the fifth astral era. Surviving on the blood of man, though no one can really bring back that claim, all things must die. Gold six arms he time has come. Survived since the fifth astral era. That's a long time! Yeah, considering this is the seventh umbral. So it'd be the uh, all the way through the uh, fifth umbral era, and the sixth astral era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Somehow I doubt that. But keep in mind, astral and umbral counting is kind of weird because it's not based off of a calendar for interpretation. It's based off of what calamity just hit. <laughs> Oh yeah, and no idea how long any of the umbrals really were, but it seems like most of the astral eras were pretty long. Hello, Mr. Jokobo Keep. Touchy, touchy. Working on it. Well, if we want, I believe uh, the Chocobo Keep will actually take us to Aleport? Yes! Right back to Aleport? Yep. Just a second. I'm turning on mount music. Darn straight. Off to Aleport! You get to watch the pretty scenery go by. Oh, we still have our leaf to do. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. We're going to have to depart. Aren't we can't we? leave it forever. Uh, not for this one. This is one we should be able to do together. Hmm. So I think we'll each get our own... Uh, There we go. Oh, oh look, a treasure coffer. Heal and toe complete. Now, which Mimaruda is this? I only see one. Oh, we only see our main one. No. I'm seeing him move, but I am also seeing progress. I think we both get one memoro. Of all things. Okay then! That isn't how it used to work. Wanna take on that bloodstained buccaneer?
Should be at 54% progress. 61? Yeah. I'm getting the update, and he's responding. Actually means this um is moot because we can chain it. We go. Oh, safe. Sparklies are safe. Should Mama run share sparklies? No, you're just going to disappear. And we get a free teleport back to the city. Yay! Yes. Yeah, they have improved how that works from a few years ago. <coughs> Completed the task, have you? And you need to only collect your reward. Yeah. Hey, I got a venture. I'm 17. Yeah, you're ahead of me. Oh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> not going to read the rest of his stuff? No. I already went through it. That's okay. I just dumped out. <laughs> yeah. It's leaves. Yeah, yeah. I can leave it. <laughs> I see what you did there. Or didn't do. Failed well, to resist doing. Oh, I have to say. Uh, turn around. Mm -hmm. That looks a lot better than the Merlion statues. Yeah, but the Merlion statues are like traditional Hong Kong. Yeah, well. Man's best friend. I heard from Ur uh, Tai you went looking for the starved pup in Quarterstone. Did you have any luck? One starved, starved pup. pup. A seemingly abandoned pup with a growling stomach. Oh god, he is so adorable. <laughs> I forgot how oh, adorable so he was. A... Oh yes. <laughs> ah, so this is a pup her Kantai has been hiding. Well done. She was here not long ago, as a matter of fact. Seems she was willing to cooperate with the authorities and help set things right. But that's not all, friend. While you were searching for this pup, a group of pirates related to the investigation was taken into custody. We couldn't have done it without your help. The ringleader is yet to be found, but perhaps now Aleport can enjoy a moment of respite. All that remains is what to do with this pup. He seems to have taken a liking to you. Perhaps it would be best if you looked after him. There is simply no room for him at headquarters, and letting him wander about on his own is out of the question. I realize how sudden this is, but please give him a good home. So, yeah, you get to keep him. Wolf Pup idolizes one Gaius von Balesar for obvious reason. Oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, for those who aren't familiar with the lore, Gaius von Balesar is known as the Black Wolf of Gurlamond. He was the main enemy for pretty much everything for a while. Uh, he's the leader of the invasion force of Garlemon into Eorzea. Okay. And Ferocerus is continuing to have a bad day. Wow. Yes! <laughs> okay. I don't want to be that lighthouse. You'd make a horrible lighthouse. Minion guide. 
Bred to serve as a werewolf in the Imperial Gurlian army, this pup was rescued before any permanent damage could be done to its playful spirit. He will follow you to the end of the world and back, as long as you toss him an occasional biscuit. I've got no words to mince with whelps unless you're here to become a curious George. <laughs> you want to explain where, where that reference is? Curious George is the warrior trainer. Yes. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Venture. How did you fare against the corals in Skull Valley? I've got one coral kitten here. Baby coral. A defenseless baby coral. I see. So this baby coral is all that remains. It really is a shame it came to this. Most of the jackals died fighting against corals, but it would uh, seem you slew the pirate's last litter while saving this one. Let us ta uh, at least take solace in knowing that bloodshed has ended. There is a bit of good news to be had, however. I received word not long ago that a group of pirates related to our investigation was taken into custody. You told us! I think part of it is that originally you could only pick which one you went after. Uh, and they fixed that. To instigate such carnage without screw. The true animals in this case have been placed behind bars. With any luck, their leader and remaining members will join them shortly. But what to do with this baby coral? He seems quite fond of you, almost as if you... Uh, the yellow jack is not fit to care for a coral, especially when full-grown. Nobody's fit to take care of a full-grown coral. No, no. No, they are not. <laughs> but we cannot simply release him back into the wild. I suppose there's only one option. Foist him off on me. Friend, I leave this baby coral in your capable... Told ya. I'm sure you will do what's best for him. Coral kitten. It will still be several summers before his trademark whiskers grow out. <laughs> guy. Corals are extremely proud and defiant creatures, even when young. Faced with insurmountable odds, a coral will rarely shy away from the fight, choosing rather to perish than in combat than run. This characteristic keeps coral numbers low, but ensures the strength of those who survive. And by the way, where is my little black chocobo? Hello, little black Hello. chocobo, where have you been? He's been happy, that's where adventure. he's been. <laughs> Apparently! <sighs> what are we going to do with them? What do you mean? You can't just keep them cooped up in a menu all day. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. I just got my <sighs> chocobo out. I know. There. Which one did you pull out? I pulled out little Wolfie. Because I could. <laughs> Bye, little black mage. Hello, little coral. And now we have a crazy woman to talk to. Crazy isn't quite the word I do. Incompetent? That's closer. Also at the top of a lot of stairs. Yeah, well. So, what did you. with all these people in these walls? So, you ever fire that cannon? Ready to fire! I keep my promises, adventures, and you keep your skills well honed, I see. A moment, and I received a dispatch. What? Uh, they weren't attacking Aleport? Well, that's... What were not important enough? Those were just 
babies? Well, you'd have to be a duller than, than a box of hair to fly off the cannon position, times being what they are. I suppose all swell that ends well, but I must admit I was looking forward to training, putting my training to some real use. I didn't join the maelstrom to break up brawls, you know, and now I shall have to clean the cannon. Ah, <sighs> uh, the true enemy of boredom. And she has another one. Oh! I didn't think she was done, did you? Gods be good. <laughs> Mountains out of molehills. Storm Private Sanairo smells of salt, malt, and bad ideas. <laughs> and appears intent on securing your services again. Well, I made a right mess of the things the other day. Commander Falkabrida said she'd dock my pay if I pulled something like that again. At least I didn't get tossed in the brig like Sunel. I have been very char- <clears throat> I have been very charry since. You can be certain of that. I have little enough coin as it is in the pay purse to slack my thirst with. But this time, I- There'll be a real attack on Aleport, and off I go to arm the cannon. Save Aleport from those bloody- f uh, Save Ilport from those blood baths on four legs, and we'll see what Commodore has to say about my pay then. You're gonna get it docked. Yeah. Again. For Adventure for Aleport and for glory! Slower down the horde! I'm certain to be raped by the time you slaughter five! Yeah, you see that you are. And the counting of the blood shall be five! <laughs> Yeah, I know. Oh, oh Foxfire, they're both amazingly cute. Sometimes I wonder why they have to be most things with an ugly stick, but when they want something to be cute, they know how to do it. Yeah. <sighs> it's a pity it'll be forever before we get to Alpha. Oh, 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 Theron had another Alpha sighting today. Did you take a picture? I tried and he disappeared before I could hit the button. They want us to kill hedge moles. She wants us to kill more hedge moles. Oh, okay, the one of them. Let's get this over with. That should be enough. You yeah, can take them. Fine. If I can hit the right button, target something that I can't <laughs> Yeah, he was coming, he was in front of the Copperbell Mines doing a quest, and literally in the middle of his quest, um, Alpha and Omega come walking out of the mines and just trot towards him and then fade out. Ah! And I was like right in the middle of a quest chain. It's like, no! Ah. It was adorable. Now I'm going to have to keep an eye on the Copperbell Mines. <laughs> I was so not expecting in the middle of the quest dialogue. Oh. <laughs> Did he wave? He just kind of went clang in my general direction. Hello, Ari. Ah. So, get in trouble yet? Well slayed! Or do I mean well slain? I shall never- I shall need to know these things if I'm to be an officer! You've got Good a long ways. That. Yeah! <laughs> I've got the power and powder and the ball loaded and primed. Now to slow the march. Hark! No, slow. Uh, dispatch. 
Stand down for it with? Not again. But surely these adamantoys are clear and present. Hitchbulls? You're certain. Yeah. Well, but they're like an adamantoys except uh, weak and not at all dangerous. Why? Why? Perhaps I've been cursed by some enemy? Not very likely for a mere storm private, second class or no. Now the commander will dock my pain, leave my whistles dry as dust. Well, yep. my lady most gallant, it is called Aleport. I've spent a deal of time admiring the undersides of many a tavern ta table, I can tell you that. What? Uh, could it be that my humors are out of balance from the surfeit of ale? And thus, I see it now. There's an excess blood which has overflowed my martial zeal. Ladonia, Rena, your learned ways have shown me the light. Much thanks. I go now to receive a leeching. God help us. <laughs> well, a leeching might actually be what she needs. Oh god, she has another one. <laughs> I forgot how long this one goes. <laughs> there might even be a fourth. <laughs> Don't say those things. You will curse us. I think this is it. Walk of shame. A wan and listless Zenairo quest. The first that does not involve slaying half a dozen beasts. Greetings, Rena, Ladonia. Will you deliver this in my stead to Camp Skull Valley? It's, uh, my report to the commander of Falcabrita. I was as plain spoken as I could be, and I was going to report in person, but for some reason, I've barely the strength to visit the barber for leechings, let alone make a trip to Skull Valley. I don't suppose, it, I don't suppose I'd be spared a dock and pay? You don't think they'd clap me in the brig, do you? Probably not. They usually don't put people in the brig for general stupidity. Um. As much as it might be deserved. I don't know. Uh, this is a navy. Can she be general? A general stupid? You can always be generally stupid. <laughs> yeah, less blood, more alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pirates. Also, we want to double check. Okay, I do need to get uh, Roselings and... Sewer moles up in Quarterstone, which we've already gone through. I need two Kilomantises. That's Oakwood. I Oak need wood. some stuff down in Lower Lawn of Saya. Ooh. Quarterstone. Need one. Uh, need something there. And Skull Valley. Which and is right here. Oakwood. Ah, speaking of which. Yep, yep, this is them. This is what I need. Come on. Whoa, give me something in rain. Oh, you got everyone mad at you. You're being a good marauder. Can we finish off this, uh... That'd be a yes. Hey! It's XP! It's mindless blood and violence! Oh, and by the way, I would like to point out this wonder of the local file. The yes, Pelican! <laughs> Yes, that's a pelican. I don't ask me, I didn't name it. <laughs> I guess that's the one we 
love to really drag on swear about. That and broken ponies. Might want to top off. You should have a second wind, or no, no, your heal doesn't come in for a while. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> Bring them all together. Like I can do any AOEs at this level. <laughs> uh, why do I not have dust blossom yet? Kitty, I can't extract the curious. Yeah. Now then, it's a little fast. Oh, you're fine. In. in the same place we were. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine why. Camp Skull Valley. Quests here. I'm trying to remember if this leads directly into that set. I think it does. Uh, there's a couple different sets here. Um, and one's at 45. So we're not going to mm -hmm. see it for a while. Hello, Falkrida. Ah, an adventurer, and one whose name rings a bell. Have you been in service to the Maelstrom, I hear? What brings you to Skull Valley? Uh, a this document? Really stupid, um, subordinate. Hamlet Report. Periodic account of happenings in and around the Hamlet of Aleport. After recent events, one might assume this particular report will read more akin to a letter of apology. <clears throat> a report from Private Sonara. <sighs> it does her little credit that she did not make the trip herself. S stay in while I pursue. Ah. Stay while I peruse, peruse this. Da, 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 da. Did I mention I was running on five hours sleep? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hmm. She does not preactivate at least that one. Sure. Unfortunately, how unfortunately, how she has gone to rack and ruin since she was posted to Aleport. She was among the first in her shoal to be promoted to second class, yet now... Do you know what a soldier's greatest enemy is, Rena Ladonia? Boredom. I suspect Sonora is played by the craven in... Uh, is... Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I suspect Sonara has played the craven in fighting this foe. I shall order the paymaster to dock her pay, but I'll not sign a censure. If she can stay out of the taverns and learn to keep herself busy, she may yet earn her salt. <laughs> yeah, i Dang! Yeah, Ooh, I've got trick to attack. go on that one. Oh, that's going to be difficult to get off at this level. Eh? Trick attack. Ah. Can only be executed while under the effect of hidden, i.e. stealth. Sixteen? Hmm. Nest we forget. Nest we forget. <laughs> Commander Fulkreed has a task for you, it seems. It is gratifying to know that at least one person in the presence. Tarry a while, Rena, Ladonia. Twill not be said that an adventurer came to Camp Skull Valley and left without honest pay for honest work. We have a problem that the other encampments may 
may well find enviable. The dodos are so plentiful that they even nest within the barracks. The nest must be removed forthwith before it draws beasts dangerous to men as well as birds. Oh god, they're at it! Yes. Yes, they are. Fighting like cats and dogs! <laughs> oh, Coral's out of there. <laughs> He's done with this. Does that mean Wolfie wins? Well, of course, the problem is, is it's different for the both of us. I know. Wolfie fell over on mine. <laughs> so, can they mind us for your nest? Nah! Okay. I'd even think we're doing something made of death. Someone took my black co chocobo chick! Is having another adventure. Apparently. Swiftly done! They do say that when a soldier dallies, an adventurer hurries. Peaceful as it may seem now, this encampment was built to ward against kobolds of Umgoro to the north. We do not forget our purpose. You only need to look to our name. The valley floor once lined with the skulls of kobolds we slew, so no invader might reach the southern mound and the settlements beyond without treading on death with every step. Nowadays, it seems we are in danger of treading on dodo eggs at every turn, or on the adders that feast on them. The dodos brought by the settlers now run feral to keep the, us in meat and eggs and headaches. Yeah, just the one. Yeah, I think the rest kind of show up at uh, 47 ish. However, we're going to go a little ways into School Valley because I seem to want to think you have a hunt target there. Uh, it's like a firefly thingy. Or is that white mage? It's been firefly, too long. Firefly, God's Grip, Morabi Bay. Yeah, these guys. Yes. Okay, I remembered correctly. What the heck? Okay, those are the fireflies, which are Marauder 11. I'm supposed to be getting them at in Lower Lano say at level eight. Well, you can get them now. And they're level nineteen, so be cautious. Yes. However, there are two of us. So I have to get the idea of a level nineteen firefly. How many you need? Four. Oh. And that was number four. Congrats. You are now ahead of me. No, no, we're even again. Never mind. Yep. Never mind. Der -her -her. Uh, and hold on a moment. I'm on follow, so keep going, but Okay. Got it. Um, but I just got interject. Objection! Yeah, interject is a silence where, um... No, it just says it's an interrupt, actually. 
Yeah, uh, but how it functions is it interrupts any vocals. Uh, where your need... leg sweep is a uh, is an out and out stun. Yeah, I still need Robbie Bay for Goo Goo's. Uh, Quarterstone. Is there anything in this one you need? Uh, yeah, I need some stuff in Quarterstone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I need Buccaneers there, and I need Upper Lano Say for Wild Wolf to finish off difficulty two. Yeah, I think I need wild wolves as well. Are you going to do the quarterstone stuff before leaving the zone? Yeah. Yeah. But we got this quest to turn. Okay. Ahoy there. Keep your voice down. Nobody's business but ours, innit? You got what I asked for? Dusk bat wings. The elastic wing of a dusk bat. Them's the ones, and that's as pretty a job as I've seen. Know your way around a battle, eh? Well, that's just fine. Thank you. Why? These sailors can be a superstitious lot, you know? Some of the crew might look at me odd-like for carrying bat parts. When the wind's done died and the water casks are dry, it's odd one day and overboard the next. But no superstition about that. The Dusker's been my luck since I was a boy. Survived more than two weeks at once on three bats I caught trapped at the top of an abandoned watchtower. Even ate a wing off uh, off one before I made up my mind to climb down the wall. This journey will be sailing past the Isles of Umbra, and I can feel this those roots. The lights at first serious burned dim since the calamity, and I've always found it a mite too much like that old watchtower for comfort. I ain't been that affrighted boy for a long time. Ill used, starved, and more than half mad, inching down that sandstone wall on a handhold no bigger than a fingertip. But I'll have me five bat wings on every journey just the same as that boy had. He has a new quest. Mummy dearest. The bashful air ill suits in say Rogadin, but Alphood has it never nevertheless. Wearing the sheepishness like an incommodious singlet. Oi. Oh, hi, Ladonia. It clean slipped my mind the last time, but I've another thing to ask of you. Me bearings are lively on the water, but on land, well, I'm what you landlubbers oh, land call at sea. Got a letter that needs delivering, and you're the maid for. Oh, God, he's going to send us back to Skull Valley. Yep. Ugh, sorry. I went ashore on some rock on the voyage in, and a faded petticoat comes up to me, says she's got a daughter in Camp Skull Valley that she hasn't... <laughs> had tears in her eyes. Pretty eyes, too, for a woman past her child in childhood years. She must have been a real beauty in her day. Anyways, had a soft spot for tawny eyes. May have because her, the sea is a green-eyed virago in the skies. Her sisters have blue eyes, blue and red, gray and black. Well, this daughter of hers goes by. Hey, well, sis, you'll take the letter to her. We are now. What we're going to do is make a, a kind of a circuit. We're going to take the Chocobo Keep and go to Swift Perch. Mm -hmm. We'll do the Quarry Stone there. Then we'll take another chocobo back here, go up to Upper La Nosea to get our hunt targets up there, because there's no real quests up there. Right. And then um, head off to Skull Valley. I'm going to get the... Uh... Uh... No, no, I don't want to go to Lemza. I guess we have to run it. I'm going to put yeah. myself on follow, because I really need to go use the uh, little uh, Vieira's room. So I'll be back. Well, um, that's it. It's all my show for the moment. Woohoo! I'm in charge of, you know, this massively multiplayer online jogging simulator.
my hunt targets. Yes, I am actually trying to avoid I mean, they're not causing me any harm. Oh, jeez, it's that one. <laughs> hey, Baromets. Yeah, as you can tell, he's a little special. And, uh, and the feat for him is up about half the time. And this is why, you know, Rena guides us everywhere. She can find these things. I don't. Jackals. And as you can see, they're in the first place. Okay, yep, those are my buccaneers. I remember when we were close to them the other week and didn't quite get to them. Meh. on mine. You made friends when I was away. Yeah, I got a little too close. Eh. I need four of them, so I need another pair. Take hey, your pick. Look, here's another mated pair. See? Good job. And sewer moles. You need the sewer moles? Oh, okay. Okay, that's the two sewer moles I needed. And then the roselets should be just up this way. Mm-hmm. I went by them a couple of times. Oh, sorry. Even showed off the uh, feet one. <laughs> While I tried to figure out where the buccaneers were. Short okay. of the wild wolf and the bumble beetle. Yeah, 
I'll need Kubu's off and like lower Lano say at some point. Okay, back to Aleport. And don't spare the chocobo. Yeah, we can get to um, Laurel Lanosea from uh, Ilport. Mm. Clouds are out, birds are seeking. Ferrocerus looks like it's had a bad day. <laughs> that never changes. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> From what I understand, it's all true. It, uh, it has had a bad day. It has had a very, very bad day. Back to Skull Valley. Yep. And not for the last time. Sorry, I forgot that one connected through or I would have picked it up earlier. My yeah. bad. It's just been too long. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've done it on, like, Tahapu. No, I think Yoda completely skipped that. Oh, wow. I spent so much time in the airport. Mostly training up with uh, Monk back when, in the days when I had to. Oh, right, down below. My bad. adventures they said you were looking for me letter to Wilt Swiss a sealed missive addressed to Maelstrom surgeon Wilt Swiss a letter from Mama I haven't heard from her in so long she never answers my letters no stay I'll have to send a reply what the oh the stone-hearted grasping hag wouldn't let me take so much as a hunk of dried fish when I left the island, and now she wants gill? That... that... succubus! <sighs> you think me cold? Well, fie on you... on what you think. I wanted something better than tilling salt fields and spilling small fries out of nets, and occasionally taking a passing sailor to bed for more of the same. She'll receive no reply from me. Thank you for your services, and good day to you. <sighs> Salty! <laughs> Toxic Avenger. It is a cool and collected Surgeon Twilt Swiss who seeks an, uh, seeks an obliger today, rather than the fire eater of the other day. Weapons and armor in order. Saltpeter, in order. Basic provisions, all in order. Poisons? Oh, the file's nearly gone. Um, adventurer, Rena Ladonia, wasn't it? Perhaps, mayhaps you can let bygones be bygones. Perhaps? Mayhaps we can let bygones be bygones. You're skilled in wrangling beasts, I hear, and I have need of a pelican poison. Pelicans have poison. <laughs> blink, blink. Well, what do you suppose makes blink, them look like that? Blink. I don't know. Chernobyl radiation? Um. 
The poison can be readily gathered from pelicans in the area, but I must continue my duties here. And are you so minded to undertake the task? Uh, why? Why did they have pelicans? Yep. Rothlet Pelicans. Wrong way. Sorry. Uh, I mentioned I'm on running on five hours sleep, right? <laughs> uh, autopilot ho. Okay, ma'am. I welcome your return, adventurers. Have you asked? Have you what I asked for? Pelican poison. Contrary to popular belief, pelicans are highly poisonous creatures that spray their victims with a powerful neurotoxin. Well, they told you, didn't they? <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Ah, I see you were not slinting to fill... Ah. I see you were not slinting in filling the vials. The last adventure returned each with barely half full and had to check to demand full payment. I had a low opinion of adventurer since, but you know, of you know of our past with the Cobalts, but they are not the foe we fight today. Nay, all our guns are trained on the fishbacks. Such a wee thing, this vial, but too, but this too is a gun. So susceptible are the Sahagin are to pelican poison that even the Ross recruit may, with the poison-tipped arrow find herself a fish ma a fisher of beastmen. This was a settlement here once, near Halfstone. Then the primal Leviathan rose and the Sundhagen evaded. Work of generations was undone in a season and whole families perished. I never knew the Halfstone settlement, but I believe it to be the home worth fighting for. And so we fight with steel and fire and even poison to reclaim that which is ours. My brother's not a keeper. Oh dear. Quite thawed towards you after a wintry start, Wilpsis is practically humming as she devises a new task for you to undertake. Camp Skull Valley was built to hold against attacks from the sea. To the north and south lie narrow channels with a tide gate each to hold the Sahagin at bay. Will you deliver this bottle of lowland wine to the captains of north and south tide gate? Call it a small privilege of the quartermaster. Please take the first bottle to Captain Stralgard at, st at south tide gate. Da, 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 da. Oh, they're getting more al alphabet soup as it goes on, aren't they? Yeah, actually, that one was relatively calm. Uh, 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 south Tide Gate. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. gonna be okay? 
I'm ignoring them. This Bun Bun is not afraid of killer mantises. Adventure, what brings you to South Tide Gate? Luland wine. This white wine made from the green Luland grapes of La Nusea is said to have a bold citrus flavor with hints of apple, pear, and cinnamon. But most sailors simply claim it tastes like wine. Bottle of Luland from Sergeant Wilson. Now, isn't that something? And isn't she something? Crisp yet full bodied, is my guess. You know, didn't think I had a chance with a woman like that, but looks uh, looks like she's sweet on me. Always was popular with the fairer sex, if I do say so. I have a brother, you heard about that? He's the captain of North Tidegate, like peas in a pod, they say, but they never popped those peas out of the pod, if you take my meaning. Well, it's, just, well, it's just got a way about it, he does. Cool as spray, but there's fire there, and welcome she is to show me the light and stop every stitch between the two of us. <sighs> it's all in his should, own head, isn't it? Should we tell him that she... Nah, let's stop. Uh, you're inviting the trouble. Yes, yes I am. I will be crashing early tonight. Of course, I say that almost every night, and then I end up staying. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> Over here, back to Sergeant Wilt Swiss. Despite the fact that we have both bottles, Ah, uh, there you are. Did Captain Starrett receive it well? The other bottle is yes. for Captain Nortmon of North Tide Gate. I should have mentioned they're both brothers in blood as well as arms. You'd think them closer for it, but the pickering is well nigh constant. Over in Novice Network. If there are unspoiled vegetation patches, does that mean others are spoiled? Yes. Reply. Yes, I regularly tell those other patches story plot points. <laughs> yeah, this one is a lot harder to avoid. And oh, well, another quest, and we're already hitting a lot of And I think I might have heard a Baron. Could be wrong. I mean, they, he should be returning from the game soon. Halt adventure. North Tidegate is no place for idlers. Yeah, We're well, we've got wine for you. We're you lowland wine. You it know, tastes like wine. It tastes like wine. <laughs> Wood Swiss. The quartermaster, that mousy looking girl? Still, she has an excellent taste in wine. It must be a mind reader, for I have a cloud that wants nothing more than a glass of lowland vintage. So, sent you over with a bottle just for me, huh? What? Sent one to that ba uh, back berth in South Ki Tidegate 2? Oh, you know what he's gonna think now. That she's his for the taking, that strutting. Well, he's got another thing coming. Misunderstanding an innocent kindness like that. She's a quartermaster. Doesn't he know this is a, a professional interest? That goodish fool. I won't have him bothering that lovely girl. Oh, gosh. And back in Novice Network. Ooh, throw out the spaghetti and do like Ruby Weapon. Get yourself some big fat tacos. <sighs> oh. A few minutes. Yeah. Well, this is pretty much 11 right now. How do we want to do this? Well, at least take this one for now. Okay. I've got family feeling it'll send us back to Aleport. 
Maybe. Flowers for Aragmar. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Learned men write that he who is wrong feels the approach of night, and Alarof certainly seems to all but his pressing need for your service. Where's Rohan? I told that Bernacle the engineers were letting us take cannon out of the task. Twelve know when the mood will next strike those hugger muggers. Probably over at the crypt again, morbid I call it. I like a good wallow now and then, but he broods on dead folk he didn't even know. You go fetch Rohan, and I'd be liable to profane the lichyard by beating him about his thick head with that big stone hourglass. Ah, oh, there I go again, blaspheming the keeper. Not that I have much inch cared for the Ponzi, and that's probably another bit of abominating. Here, take these flowers or hands at, at the f uh, Founder's Crypt. Give him the pretties for the dead, that'll clear my slate with the gods. That's right, it's right up there. Yeah, it's pretty much right here. Really? Yeah. Really? Really. I can't even give respects to the dead without being jumped by a mantis. And a firefly. You can't forget the firefly. Rest in the peace of the twelve, Aragorn. Spring stars. White, six-petaled flowers with bright orange-yellow centers. You know... I don't know that I've ever really seen that icon. That what? And that's not what it, the icon for the spring stars. I don't think I've seen that icon elsewhere, and it doesn't match the description. No, no, it doesn't. Ah, you bring flowers. Come, no need to be shy, there's... Small in life, he who sleeps here is virgin death. Uh, there's a couple of botany nodes that use those for like chamomile okay. and such. You'd never know now there is a hamlet. Half stone was called, built on the sweat of near ten score brows, and put to the Sahagan's torch. Settlers fought, I and how, with not a trained soldier among them. Ergmer was one of uh, those farmer by trade. He stayed behind to cover the final retreat, asking for as many arrows as could be spared. Then he took off his boots and gave them to another, saying it wasn't far to go on. Here he lies now. Time was I'd be hard pressed to imagine doing what he did. You don't hold fast too much in this privateer's life. No pirate captain's gonna da uh, going down with her sh ship, and any captain who looks to loyalty more than gold is, is liable to have his sl throat slit. Now, I got to be better than that, don't I? I got to be more like Erigmar. As I pronounce that name about three different ways at three different times. <laughs> Scythe extra large. Really? Rest in peace. You're interrupting a moment here. Are we done yet? I hope so. <laughs> Scythe extra large. Sergeant Rohanth has the cross-eyed look of a man threading a and none can doubt that you were the stitch in time that saves nine. An adventurer, eh? Seems a shame for you to eh, come all the way out here without me. How about a, a bit of Vilekin hunting? I'll not. There's a few killer mantises about out on account of, of a hatching we missed. Oh, so it's your fault. The commander sent out hunting parties and collected ten and six heads. But there's more than twenty in a clutch. You think he can handle the last four? I say we port back to Limsa Lamenza and call it a night. Okay. 
I'm up for this. <laughs> and maybe start with Little Lady's Day. We'll have this as a quest marker to come back here. Yes. The quest that never ends. We're playing an MMO. The quests never end. They go on and on and on. No, 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 no. I've heard tell people where the uh, marker in the corner that keeps you going onward forever said... <laughs> oh, there you are. Time to hit the winch. Mm -hmm. And I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, well. And someone's no, no. Someone just vacated our table. Woohoo! Good timing. I get the fruit. Okay, y'all. Sorry about running a little over time. Thank you all for coming. Uh, tomorrow we will be back trying to break our level seventy-one curse in heaven on high. Uh, mm. Please come and join us. Hopefully, eventually. If we get enough people, it will magically happen and we'll go on and die on level 72. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and as always, uh, the following Saturday, we will be streaming our bun buns for more questing adventures. Um, until then, you guys have a good evening. Be safe and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Great to have you all. And thank you very much for coming and enjoying. Night all. Good night.